Hi, Ashley here with hearthookhome.com and today we are going to learn how to do the diamond stitch using post stitches. This is a lot easier than it looks. There's actually just double crochet rows that are alternated with these post stitch rows. And we are going to offset our post stitch rows so that every time it's off by one, leaving these great diamonds, right? So that they pack like this and then like this right on top of each other. It's not nearly as hard as it looks. Let's break this down together and learn how to crochet this beautiful stitch. To crochet the diamond stitch, we're going to want to start with a multiple of four plus three chains. Here I have 19 total, so my multiple is 16, 17, 18, 19. We are going to set this up with a row of single crochet. So I'm going to find the second chain from my hook and I'm going to single crochet all the way down the end of the row. Now that we are done with our single crochet row, we need to do a row of double crochet. So I'm going to chain two and turn, and I'm just going to double crochet all the way down the end of this to the end of this row. Now that I am finished with my double crochet row, I am ready to do my first row of post stitches. Now this row that we're getting ready to do is probably the hardest of the entire thing. Let's take our time. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to chain one. We're going to turn so that we are looking at the back side or the other side, right, to start a new row. Now we're going to find the third stitch from the first row, okay? So here's the first one right here, here's the second one right here, and here's the third one right here. We're going to put a front post treble crochet around that stitch. In order to do that, we're gonna wrap our hook twice. We're gonna insert our hook around that stitch around the post of it. So you're just hooking the post of that stitch. Pull up a loop, kind of helps if you pinch it. You should have four loops on your hook and just yarn over and pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And that is a front post treble crochet. Now, you are going to place three single crochets in the next three stitches. It's important that you do not go into the very first stitch here because that front post treble crochet that we just, just did counts as stitch number one. So go into that next stitch and do a single crochet in the next three stitches. Now we're going to do what is called a front post treble crochet two together. And all we're doing here is we're creating the top part of a diamond. So we're gonna have one that goes this way, and then the other leg of this stitch is gonna go way over here. It's gonna look like a peak. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to wrap it twice. We're going to pull up a loop around the same stitch that we just went around from row one. So go in there and pull up that loop, same place. You should have your four loops. We're gonna yarn over and pull through two, and then yarn over and pull through two, and you should have two loops remaining. Now we're going to do the other leg that's gonna come over here. So wrap it twice again. We're going to skip three stitches from row one. So we're going to skip this one, this one, and this one, and we're going to go around the fourth. So go around the post of that fourth stitch. Now we're gonna pull up a loop, you should have five loops here. You're gonna yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and when you get down to where you only have the three, yarn over and pull through three. That is a front post treble crochet two together. That's what we're going to be doing for the majority of this pattern. Let's do it again. First, we need to move our stitches over, so do not go into this one. That's the one that counts as the front post treble crochet. We're gonna go into the next stitch and we're gonna single crochet, single crochet, single crochet. You're always going to have three in between each other. Now we're ready to do another front post treble crochet two together. So we're gonna go around this one, we're gonna skip three and go around this one. Wrap it twice, go around the same stitch from row one that we just went around, pull up a loop, got your four, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. When you've got these two remaining, wrap it twice again. Count your three stitches over. One, two, 
three and go around the fourth front to back let's finish this stitch We've got your five we're going to yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two when you've got your three left yarn over and pull through all three now we're going to do our three single crochets we're not going to go into this one because that one counts as your front post we're going to go one two and three now we're ready for another one of those decreases wrap it twice go around the same stitch that we just went around do part of the stitch to where you only have your two loops remaining yarn over twice skip three one two three and go around this fourth let's complete the stitch yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through three now skip that one do one two three single crochets when you get to the end here you should only have two stitches remaining which I do looking good looking good we're going to do a regular front post treble crochet around this and this is just going to be the left leg of our diamond so wrap it twice go around that same stitch that we just went into from round one or row one and do a front post treble crochet just like normal beautiful now we are going to end this row with one single single crochet and that is the end of row three you can see that you've got the bottom half of your diamonds starting to form now we're going to offset each row of these post stitches with a row of double crochet so I'm going to chain two and turn and I'm going to double crochet all the way down to the end of the row this is the end of row four with our double crochets at the on your double crochet rows you should always have the same number that you did in row one so you, I should have 18 double crochets here like I had 18 single crochets in row one so just make sure that you're keeping your stitch count correct to start the next row of post stitches we're going to chain one and turn now we want the peak of this diamond to be directly above this peak right so we want it to be in this stitch we want the peak to be right here so we need to do two single crochets to get over to that point so we're going to start this row with two single crochets and now we're going to start our front post treble crochet two together this is where it starts getting easier because instead of going into the stitch and having to find it um, from row one we're going to just wrap our hook twice we're going to insert around the entire post so just the whole thing and when if you pull this apart like this you can see that that's a gaping hole go around that entire thing right just like that start the stitch do the first half of it until you've got two loops remaining now we're going to finish that stitch around these posts right here so dub double wrap it wrap it twice we're going to go around both of these posts so it's loosey-goosey no big deal pick pull up that loop now you've got your five do your pull through two and then pull through two and then pull through three now what are we going to do we're going to single crochet three times so make sure you skip the one that would have been the found the post stitch and do one single crochet two single crochets and three and now we're ready for another front post treble crochet two together so we're going to wrap it twice go around this entire bundle right here pull up a loop do the first half of your stitch until you've got your two wrap it twice again find the next peak and go around the whole thing and finish that decreased stitch so I like to think of it as two legs right so on our first row we did the bottom half and on this row we're doing the top half and then on the next row we're going to start it over here so that it's on top of these two right so we're always 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 offsetting our post stitch rows so that they form diamonds instead of staggering on top of each other 
when you put it like that, I think this stitch isn't quite so difficult. If you can, if you can figure out how to do this decrease stitch after that, you're smooth sailing. So I'm going to go around both of those, do half of my stitch. Now I'm going to wrap it twice and go around these two. Finish the stitch, pull through three, do your single crochets, always skip that one. Now we're going to do one here and here. Wrap it twice, go around the bundle, pick it up, do half of your stitch, wrap it twice. Go around the second half of your stitch, pull through three, and then at the end of this row you should have three single crochets, one, two, three. And now we're ready for another double crochet row, and then we'll start the next post stitch row. All right, so we are done with that double crochet row, looking nice. See how it's nice and flat on the back side? I love that. Chain one and turn. We are ready for another post stitch row. Isn't this looking awesome? I love the way this looks. It's so much fun. So now you can see that the next the row that we want to do, if we need this diamond right here, let's set this down, and take a look at what we got. Okay, so if the next row, our diamonds need to be here, right? That means that the peak of our diamond needs to be here. So we're going to start this row with the left leg or the right leg of this diamond. Then we're going to do single crochets, three of them, until we get here where we can do our first peak, right? So all you're doing is you're offsetting. You're either starting at the very beginning with your post stitches or like we did at the last row, you do your two to get over to the point where you are on the top of to make your diamond shape, if that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. Zoom back out a little bit and let's do this post stitch row. Wrap it twice. Remember on your this row in particular, you do not put a single crochet first. We are the very first stitch we're doing is a front post treble crochet around this bundle right here. So we're just gonna do one front post treble crochet, not the second leg of it, just the first. Looking good. So skip the very first stitch since that counts as your front post and do three single crochets. And now we're going to do our peak for this part of the diamond. So wrap it twice, go under this one right here, do most of the stitch, wrap it twice, go around this bundle right here. Since this is the second leg, we're going to go through three on that last pull through. Ta-da! <laughs> Skip the one, go do three single crochets. And we are ready for another pair of legs. They look like legs to me, don't they? <laughs> Wrap it twice, go around this one right here. Do the first half of your stitch. Wrap it twice and do the second half of your stitch. It's not too bad, right? Once you learn how to do this decrease stitch and how to stagger them so that they look like diamonds instead of just like triangles, it's smooth sailing. This stitch is pretty easy to work up and it's pretty quick actually because of the double crochet rows. I feel like it goes pretty quick. It's fun and fast and beautiful. And when you get to the end of this row, let's see, we're going to do the left leg. And we should have two remaining, which we do, that's beautiful. We're going to do one regular front post treble crochet right here. And then we're going to skip the second to last and we're going to do a single crochet in the last. 
And now what we would do is another row of double crochet. And then in order to start the next row of post stitches, we would want it to be staggered here, right? We want our point to start here. So we would do our two single crochets and then do our diamond here, 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 all the way to the end. So you're just going to be alternating those two post stitch rows with rows of double crochet. To see this pattern in written form, which may be easier to follow, along with oodles of pictures, uh, head over to hearthookhome.com. I do have a brand new pattern featuring this stitch coming out soon, and I know you're going to love it. Thank you for watching, and I look forward to crocheting with you again soon.